they not finna like me for this one. I'm finna spit the real on this one. This is the harsh truth. How women choose who they let smash. How women choose who they let have the guts. You want to be this kind of guy. What's good with y'all, man, guys? Listen up, bro. Women, for the most part, I know y'all finna get mad at this one. Y'all ain't making the right decisions in choosing men. Okay, that's why this lack of accountability is all through the damn roof. Biggest thing they gonna say, he was this, he was that. Pointed fingers, pointed fingers. Victim card. Who you letting inside them guts, inside them walls, and destroy them all, desecrate them? I'm gonna tell you, the guy is that typically gets inside and early and fast. It's always the guy that's not good for them. It's always the guy that shows this toxic trait or shows this side of him that she really gets turned on by, this is what you need to focus on. You must focus on your appeal, okay? You gotta focus on your sex appeal when it comes to women. I think it's funny how a lot of women will jump in the comment section talking about some, you're shallow, this and that, but y'all are shallow, right? I got a joke going on and I'd be like, yeah, you know, it was your personality. You know, that's the first thing I saw is your personality. And she over here laughing too, because it's hilarious how people don't think sex appeal is the thing. People don't think that, hey, bro, the guy who's smashing all the college girls, the guy who's at the parties, right? And you know he tossing these plates. You know he just slinging booty cheeks side to side. Chicks just still want to gravitate towards him, even though, right? Here's the icing on the cake. All these women is talking shit they always talking shit i don't care who she is she talking shit she talking shit about that one guy she talking shit about this guy over here but what they all have in common they all fucking the same guy they all smashing the same guy how come her girlfriend warned her about who this guy was in the past and how this guy was this and how he did her like this but she still went over behind her own girl back and still let them hit, still let them smash. Why is that? Why are 80% of the women gravitating towards the top 20% or 85% of women gravitate towards the top 15, 90, 10, whatever you want to say. This guy is always leading with what women find visually desirable along with exactly what they want to hear. Twofold right there what they find visually exciting, what they love to hear. Guys be fucking up here. Y'all guys be in the wrong mindset. Guys go out here to be successful. Number one, just for women. Somebody asked me, Oh, so if you out here, you successful, you want to get rich and have a nice car and in and, and a nice place and, and blah, blah. You want to do all that and accomplish that just for women? No, what the fuck? Now, initially, it might be that. Matter of fact, overall, it is a little bit related to it, guys. We love coochie. I love searching and destroying guts. But at the same time, you got to understand the thing that all guys who are smashing the women, the thing that all the guys who women let into the palace, right? They spread their legs. They're like, come on inside. Please, I need that. The guys, what they all have in common is they understand, hey, this is what women want. This is what I'm going to show them. And then later down the line, as women start to, you know, deal with bro, deal with said dude, they learn different things that add to his appeal. They add to his sex appeal, bro. They add to the level of mystery about the guy. And women are sitting here like, man, I, mm, I can't really put the, I can't put my finger on it, but it's something about him. Also, he dropping dick off. They're going to choose that guy. They're going to choose the guy that's out here, not even focus on them. Because if what I said earlier was true, if it was all about just getting all these pieces of pussy, right? Just to smash and just to jump on your Johnson and juke on your Johnson and shit. If it was all about that, as soon as you got a little bit of success, you would stop there. Men would just stop. Men would just stop. They continue to want that same guy that is driven towards his goals. And they can appreciate a man that's focused on his shit. And he know he got, he know he trying to accomplish big things. And she over here like, yes, I would like for you to lay up in these guts. And you do that. But 
What's always going to turn the women on about you is that time that you not in the guts. The time that you not in the guts. When you're in the guts, it's got to be exciting. You got to be dropping dick off. You got to be doing damage. But the time that you apart, she know you locked in on your shit. That's what real men do. That's what real men do. Because if it was just about, oh, I'm just going to chase pussy everywhere. Nah, he ain't got no dick discipline. Nah, bro. Then you definitely doing it for women. You definitely got that as your priority. And that's not going to fly. It's not about that. It's about more than that. You got to have something more going for you. And in the beginning, it's always the same. The guy who is always being talked about, the guy who's with the girl, and then she tell her girlfriend about how he be dropping dick off and shit. Then they over here, Mr. Ooh, ooh, I wonder what that's like. It's all that level of mystery. It's all that level of sex appeal. They already saw it from the jump. But the girl mentioning him, the girl bragging on him discreetly, or maybe it's just a level of excitement that the women desire about the dude because, oh, he, he did this to you in the bedroom? Oh, whoa, I need to see that. I need to try that out. Because a lot of guys ain't really presenting that to the table. You know what most guys are doing and why they can't continuously be that guy that women want to fuck? They either get into the front door or they're knocking on the door. As soon as she opens the door to let dude inside the guts, he either gets it one time and then he's like completely weak, completely weak, loses all the ambition, loses all drive, just because of the pussy. Nope, that shit dried up. That shit dried up for him. So she got to be on to the next. Oh, well, I thought you was really that dude. You're not really that dude. On to the next one. I should have went with the bad boy over here. I should have went with the guy over here that's used to being inside some guts. And he don't get shaken by some guts, right? He don't fall for the guts. You can't fall for the guts. Love to be on a woman. Enjoy being inside the guts. Search and destroy the guts. But you got to be ready to get back to who you are you got to be ready to lock in on yourself because if you don't do that that shows no discipline so if you can't even have discipline over yourself when it comes to this chick or this woman here or maybe it's something from the past that you had and you like why did that end the way it ended you're not even going to be ready for the next chick to pull up in your life because you haven't got that discipline over you you haven't even got the discipline over you. If you over here looking to part, the sex appeal, right? You over here working on yourself mentally so you can give women the mental penis also. Those are the two things all women desire. A man capable of doing this. And then the hidden third gem is always you balancing it. It's always you balancing it. The guys who were getting the options, the guys who were out here moving through the guts, you would think this man stayed playing Need for Speed because he drifted through guts. You don't even know what the hell is going on. Why can't I be? You want to be in a situation like that. You got to get this level of discipline over all the work you've put in to elevate yourself as a man. You got to be cognizant of what your abilities are and what you're able to do, but have control over yourself to the point where it's like, you know what? I can't show this to this chick. I can't do this around this chick. I can't do this because I know if I get too comfortable, if I get too lax, she not going to feel me no more. Most importantly, you not going to feel good about yourself, though, because if you was actually putting in that work to be that scene prize, to be the guy the chicks are gossiping about. And it don't matter if they talking shit, fellas, because Women find all of it exciting. Women just love drama. You don't even got to be a guy. A lot of times guys be on some bullshit, thinking about some dumb shit. Women over here, I bet he's cheating on me. I bet he's cheating on me. Man, he just chilling with the boys. He really just chilling with the boys and doing some off the wall shit that guys do. But women just love the thought process of the drama. So sometimes they need that. But I'm going to tell you something else. They friends like it too. So yes, they friends gonna be on your jock too. Yes, they friends. Are, oh, I think I would like to. I think I would like to try that Johnson in my throat. I think I want to babysit his kids too. Wondering why women don't even like women. Women don't like women because all women want to find that one guy that's capable of doing all these Superman type of things and still maintaining that level of mystery while staying on his shit. And it's not a lot of us out there. So what they want to do is they find one. They're like, here, show your friends. They do just like guys do. Women do just like guys do. Here's the guy that I'm letting inside of my guts. Ooh, hold on now. Now, it, it, are, are you 
holding him to yourself or are you sharing what, what is going on that's how women talk that's how women do women be on some crazy shit what women say a lot of shit that you would think oh you would think you hearing this from a group of guys but no i guarantee you it's even worse with women because they have the capability to just open their legs up to any kind of johnson if they had better discipline they will understand yo the man that you really desire you got to show him something. It's the same way. That's why you can't chase him. That's why you can't chase him. She got to prove something too. How are you going to be a prize and you the one over here trying to prove yourself? You need to be focused on yourself and then they can focus on you. You got to be ready and active to improve more and more, not get complacent just because you got a couple pieces of pussy or, or some guts and then you like, oh man, I'm just going to be lazy. I would just love to lay up in some guts all freaking day. But who's going to get this work done? Who's going to achieve success for you? Nobody but you. Get the level of sex appeal, mental stability that you have, that you need to apply mental penis to women. Learn to manage it. These are the guys that are out here, the top 20%, top 15%. Sometimes, guys, it's not even about being all things across the board, right? The top 20% doesn't mean that you're a millionaire. The top 20%, the top 15% could mean, hey, maybe you're aesthetically, right? The sex appeal you distribute is of the top 10%, is of the top 15%. It's top echelon because you work hard. So you will be seen as that guy. You improve on your attractiveness. You put in work. You will be seen that way. Now you got to do the inner work because you can't be seen like that. You can't look like a dog and then she get to see you and shit and she see that you a bitch. Oh, no. As soon as I gave it to him one time, he just got weak as hell. He couldn't even handle these guts. Pressure burst pipes. That's facts. Facts. Fuck you mean, bro. If you going to act like it, you better be it. Because the guy who's smashing the guts, the guy women let inside and let stay there, let live inside the guts because he knows how to control himself. He can make her feel amazing, but then he can get out here and still get on the grind. And shit ain't changing. It's another day in his life. Fuck you mean. That's how it goes. Be this kind of guy, bro. Be this kind of guy. And don't lose focus on yourself. Balance. You at the forefront. If you suck around this far, put I'm number one in my life in the comment section. Because you got to be number one in your life, bro. That's the only way she going to see you like that. That's the only way she going to be like, let me make sure his nuts are drained. That's what it is.